In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the LCD panel in a Nova model ATM. Let's get started. Begin by powering off the ATM with the power supply switch. Remove these two screws, which will allow the front section to hinge forward. Remove the cover from the back of the mainboard. Be careful around the metal frame edges, they can be sharp. Unplug both of the USB cables. Unplug the two video cables from the upper right hand corner. Use a thin flat blade screwdriver or the edge of a knife and carefully pry up on the edges of these connectors. Note that the N01 cable plugs into the edge of the board and the N035 cable goes to the inboard connection. Remove the screw that holds the two video cable grounding wires. Remove the speaker cable, which is labeled JP17. Now push all of these cables back through the hole in the mounting bracket. On the other side of the mainboard, remove the inverter cable and feed it through the mounting bracket. Unplug the cable going to the camera. Remove this single screw from the bottom of the LCD bracket. You're now ready to unscrew the mainboard mounting bracket. There are four screws across the top and four screws across the bottom. Slowly fold the mainboard bracket backwards. If there are any cables binding up, Stop or move them and unplug them. The bracket should fold backwards easily and rest across the printer and the card reader. There are three ribbon cables to unplug on the back of the LCD bracket. Each will have a thin plastic bar or latch that must be carefully lifted up before the cable can be removed. Place your fingernail or a thin plastic tool under the edge of the latch and lift up. Do not use anything metal or anything that could damage the cables. Just be careful, it doesn't take much pressure to release the latches. Remove the white ribbon cable, which is the video cable. There may be some tape holding the cable down. Temporarily remove that tape so that the cable will be free. Unplug the connector going to the touch panel control board. Move the USB and speaker cables out of the way. With the cables removed, remove the screws that hold the LCD bracket against the bezel. Carefully lift out the LCD bracket and set it aside. Remove the LCD panel from the front bezel. Install the new LCD panel in the same orientation as the old. Make sure that the panel is centered within these foam strips along the edges. Carefully replace the LCD bracket.
Leave the screws loose until all of them have been installed. The screw with the smaller wire tie goes next to the speaker. And the screw with the longer wire tie goes near the camera. Once the bracket is installed, check for pinch cables and then tighten down the screws. Replace the ribbon cables back into the sockets. Make sure that the latch is up when feeding the cable into the socket. Make sure that the cable is fully seated before pressing down on the latch to secure it. Reconnect the cable into the touch panel control board. Run the USD cables up the LCD bracket. Plug in the camera. As you move the bracket back into position, feed the video, speaker, and inverter cables back through the holes on either side of the bracket. It's easy for the USB or video cables to get pinched while installing the mainboard bracket. So if the bracket's not sitting flat, check behind it to make sure the cables aren't in the way. When mounting the bracket, loosely install all of the screws before tightening them down. Check again that no cables are being pinched. After reinstalling the mainboard bracket, install the bottom screw for the LCD bracket. Now reinstall the video cables into their correct ports. and the grounding screw for the video cables. Reconnect the speaker cable. Reconnect the inverter cable. Plug in the USB cables. Before reinstalling the mainboard cover, check the position of the dip switches in the upper right corner. It's easy to bump them since they're near the video cables. Correct switch settings for the Nova are 1, 2, and 3 up. Number 4 is down. 
Now replace the mainboard cover and return the bezel to the upright position. Turn the power on and allow the machine to boot up. If you power on and the screen is completely black, check the inverter cable. It provides backlight to the screen. If you power on and see a faint light but no video, check the dip switch settings first. Make sure that the video connectors are in the correct sockets. After that, you'll have to go back and check that the video cables are in correctly installed. If the touch panel is not working, check that the gray USB cable is installed. And then check the cables to the touch control board. I hope this video has been of assistance. If you have any questions, please contact Genmega Support.